I understand you spent a lot of time in Kenya working with the Give Green organization. Yeah, yeah. Good peeps. Green peeps. Yeah. I'm interested in what your experience was there because, you know, I've been reading up on them and they were a really intriguing organization. Yeah, you know what? I was just trying to find one of those uh, uh, cheese puff trays. I'll show you where they are. Yeah. Right, but well, before you do, can you tell me? I mean, I'm intrigued by their policy of direct charitable donations. You know, personally, I think donations need to be conditional. What do you think? Uh, you know what? I think it's group photo time. It's oh, group photo. Yeah, okay. Group group photo. Photo. Come on. Let's, Let's make some photo. memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you, Ricky? Maybe he just doesn't want to talk shop at a bris, Leona. Or maybe he's a fraud. Are you a fraud, sir? I'll tell you what's fraudulent, Leona. Yeah? The perception that the program at Give Green needs to be conditional. They choose to offer unconditional cash transfers for two reasons. First, empowering poor people to make their own choices, well, that advances their core value of respect. Second, imposing conditions requires expensive, monitoring and enforcement structures that could raise administrative costs as high as 63%. Existing empirical evidence comparing the impact of conditional to unconditional cash transfers shows that these added costs simply do not produce commensurate benefits. I wonder where those cheese puff trays went off to. That was amazing. Unbelievable. Where the hell did you learn all that stuff? Oh